Many of you are familiar with the Ender name when it comes to Creality, a hugely popular line of open bed filament printers. This Sir Moon V1 Pro can be either partially or fully enclosed and offers a range of features that Creality hopes will justify its moderately hefty 500 plus price tag. My name is David Gewertz, and in this ZDNet review video, we'll be looking at the Creality Sermoon V1 Pro, an interesting new printer from 3D printing giant Creality. If you like all of the Sermoon's features, the price might be just fine, but if you don't need them, that price might seem pretty up there. At a little above $500, the price fluctuates a bit. The Sermoon V1 Pro offers a laundry list of helpful features right out of the box. First, as mentioned before, it can be fully enclosed. You can take the top off to allow for some heat release, but you can also keep the full enclosure on, which allows for a wide range of filament types, including ABS. The printer also has a front door that can be set to pause the print when opened. I found this moderately annoying, especially when trying to film the printer, but for situations with kids and classrooms, I can definitely see the value. The printer also has a flexible steel magnetic plate with a coating that works amazingly well for bed adhesion. I had no problems whatsoever with any prints sticking to the plate, and they remove fairly easily. Another feature is built-in Wi-Fi and a camera that can help you see your print's progress from a smartphone. I found this feature to work quite well, and I liked it. The app itself is annoying. Rather than get alerts when a print finishes, the app seems content to provide alerts for everything, including when new designs are on sale in the Creality store and when you earn Kuva coins. What are Kuva coins, you ask? Creality seems to be trying some sort of gamification, but all it turned out to be was an annoyance. This machine has no USB ports. You can load prints in either of two ways, via a full-size SD card or over Wi-Fi using Creality Cloud. But if you want to hook up a Raspberry Pi and control the printer directly over USB, you can't. Although there is a workaround. Creality has instructions for hacking together direct links from Creality Cloud to both Cura and Octoprint. The Core XY Sermoon V1 Pro sports an all-metal hot end with a dual gear direct extruder that heats up to 250 degrees. What that means is that the extruder pulls filament through to the hot end, Bowden tube extruders have the gear mechanism quite a ways away from the hot end, and while they're a bit lighter, filament can get jammed. The direct extruder also allows for a wider range of filament types. That brings us to the Sermoon's touted feature of silent printing. Once the printer gets started, it's not terribly noisy, but it gets really loud when it starts up. There's also noticeable ambient fan noise. The Sermoon V1 Pro doesn't have automatic bed leveling. Instead, you have to do the typical paper slide action to get the tram just right, but you make your adjustments by tapping on the control panel and adjusting the Z offset in five separate areas of the bed. The Sermoon V1 Pro does have two must-have features, a filament runout sensor and a power fail resume feature. Setup of the printer was relatively simple. The company touts out of the box operation, and that's pretty much true. Once I got it working, I didn't even have to level the bed. It ran perfectly. The control console is nicely embedded in the chassis of the machine. The Sermoon V1 Pro has a relatively small build area of 175 by 175 by 165 millimeters. That's pretty tiny for a printer that's priced above $500. Some of my test models had to be scaled down for this printer because they were just too tall. That said, it's not so small that you can't get anything done. So do we recommend you buy this? The price is a lot more than other printers with bigger build areas. That said, you do get a lot with this product, including the webcam. Also, the entire frame is made from plastic, so I'm not sure how long it will last. Another concern about product life is the build platform. It's supported on only one side, so whenever you remove and snap on the magnetic plate, you're applying stress to the platform. If this is intended for schools or kids, I'm not sure it's robust enough to handle the inevitable abuse. For hobbyist use or in a small office, it might hold up, but only time will tell. What do you think? Is this a printer you'd like to use? Let us know in the comments below.